The most common question I get asked every day other than, hey BJ, how are you? Is, does muzzle brake caliber matter? So let's run some tests and let's find out. So today we're gonna to be doing some tests with a 6.5 TMB. We also have a 30 cal TMB and we also have a 6.5 Sidewinder by Area 419 and we have a 30 cal Sidewinder from Area 419. So that way we can compare the different types of designs, a TMB versus a more traditional style muzzle brake like a Sidewinder and see what the difference is uh, when it comes to muzzle brake caliber and the caliber of the rifle. So the rifle that we're gonna be using today is my PRS comp rifle. I've simply got my old flogged out 6.5 Creedmoor barrel on it. And I have taken the scope off, the rings, taken the buttstock and all the hardware and the cheek piece because that weighs quite a bit. And I've taken my Cheetah Arca rail, which is a without warning design. Um, it's called the car rail which weighs about three pounds by itself. I've taken all of my custom weights out of the fore end. Um, and all of this has dropped down the rifle weight to about 14, 15 pounds. So it's quite a bit lighter. So it'll be easier to see the, um, the data, you know, visually, uh, cause there'll be more separation, but we'll pretty much shoot a 6.5 TMB, 30 cal TMB, a 6.5 Sidewinder and a 30 cal Sidewinder versus the bare muzzle. Um, we'll record the data and we'll, we'll see what the difference is. Based on my previous tests on 6 mils and 6.5 mil calibers, uh, 6GT mainly, 6 Creedmoor and 6.5 Creedmoor, I've seen a difference with the TMB of never more than half a percent when it comes to swapping between a 6.5 and a 30 cal break. So it'll be interesting to see what the results are today um, with this rifle it's going to be shooting 136 grain CNRs uh, doing 2850 and uh, yeah we'll see what the results are we'll learn together and we'll, uh, we'll post it up there for everyone to see and reference so that when it comes to buying a muzzle brake you can you know do it based on actual you know experience through this rather than just assuming marketing and you know whatever else information circulates the internet which we know is not always accurate so yeah let's uh let's see how the tmb goes and then let's see how a more traditional muzzle brake like a sidewinder goes and if there's any difference between the two and if there's any difference between just 6.5 and 30 cal on a 6.5 creed more in general all right Okay, so results are in and for the Sidewinders, what we had was 39.7% recoil reduction for the 30 cal. And for the 6.5, we had 42.2% recoil reduction, which is a 2.5% difference between the two brakes. Um, which is more or less what I expected. Uh, it's small, but there is a difference there because with a more traditional brake design, um, the caliber of the muzzle brake makes a little bit more of a difference. Um, and I'll explain why. And the TMB, we had 52.2% for the 6.5 recoil reduction and 52.1 for the 30 cal. So there was a 0.1% difference, which is pretty much nothing. Um, I would say if we did that test a hundred times, it would probably average out to anything between half a percent to 1%. But it's, yeah, it's not really worth even bothering, you know, to consider when it comes to making a purchase. For example, I would say just get whatever size color uh, is available that you want. And uh, yeah, if you've got, got all 6.5 guns or less and 
there's six fives available get a six five if you got 30 cows you know just get a 30 cow like it really doesn't matter that much with the tmb because of the design and uh how it works so um the difference in recoil between the two because i know people will ask the difference in recoil was 9.9 percent um and the inc increase in recoil um going from a sidewinder uh, a tmb to a sidewinder is 20.6 percent so uh yeah it's quite substantial and you'll definitely feel it on the gun um but yeah the reason why there's hardly any difference between a tmb versus uh, a sidewinder for example and other designs like it so the best way to describe this is you've got a hose and you tighten the hose uh the the nozzle all the way out so it's a really thin stream um, and you've got a hole and you're trying to squirt all the water through that hole uh, the majority of that water is going to go through the hole with very little hitting the edge and bleeding out um, that's essentially what a traditional muzzle brake does and that's how it works and that's why you would see more of a difference with caliber size as far as the holes concerned the size of the hole making a difference because these rely a lot more on the size of that hole inside the brake uh, to do work for you the reason why that is is with the tmb for example and the reason why it's so expensive to make it is we cut cones inside the brake in between every port and what these cones do is like the hose for example it's like turning the hose so that it fans out so you get that spray um, and if you imagine again trying to shoot it all through that small hole you're going to be hitting the surface of the object not going through the hole so that's what makes the tmb so special because we cut those shapes and that geometry into the brake um, it's very complex, very tricky to do, and it's a pain in the ass for people to make them, so people really don't like making the TMB. But it's good for you guys because it's far less, you know, um, reliant on the size of the hole because the gas, when it's coming through the port and entering the port, or it's coming through the bore of the brake and entering the port, it's not tight, it fans out. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a lot less emphasis put on the size of the hole if that makes sense um yeah if you look at our first recoil reduction video i go into depth and try to explain that well um and also just did a podcast with morgan king where i go into that in some more depth as well so um check that out when that comes out and check out the other video on youtube but yeah um if you if you're worried about caliber size of your muzzle brakes um, I don't think it's really that big of a deal at all. I think the worst you'll ever see is like a 4% difference, for example. But today, I mean, it was 2.5%. That's pretty consistent and common with what I reckon you'd see. Um, and yeah, you make it the decision if that's a big deal to you. But I personally don't think you'll be able to notice a difference behind the gun. Um, yeah. So coming up, we have a follow-up to our initial big recoil test. Uh, with a whole different bunch of muzzle brakes that will be coming in about a week or two i have a whole bunch of muzzle brakes which is why i have these on hand people sent them in for me to test um, so we're going to have sidewinders we're going to have fat bastards little bastards we're going to have hellfire match we're going to have uh, mdt's new brake we're going to have uh, ec tuner brake we're going to have Hawkins tank brake uh, we're going to have a few other brakes so we'll test them all on the recoil sled and see how they actually perform and we're actually gonna gonna get through the scope footage uh, of me shooting the rifle with the different brakes and hopefully someone else uh, hopefully Birchie will come and uh, we'll get you know two top 10 shooters here in Australia uh, running all of the brakes and we'll see what it actually looks like through the scope to shoot all the different brakes um, you know see which one gives you a better sight picture in terms of seeing your impacts and um, yeah, we'll let you guys decide what you think is the best break for you. Um, but yeah, I imagine the TMB is going to perform pretty well because it, you know, it always does because of the work that was put into designing it. Um, so yeah, we do have Moonshine, which is, uh, you know, polished tuners and jam nuts to go with black brakes at the moment. So if you do want one, um, hit me up when you buy one and uh, we'll be able to hook you up with Moonshine. Uh, people have responded to it pretty well. Uh, but yeah, other than that, um, 
thanks for watching hit me with your comments um and questions but yeah i, I don't think caliber size really matters all that much um i'll revisit this at the end of the year with a six mil with a 6.5 TMB, a 30 cal TMB, and then a 3.38 TMB. See if that's any different. Um, but yeah, I don't imagine it's going to be too different. You know, 1% probably at best, like I said. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.